Hello and welcome to another tutorial in Lightwave 3D. Today we are looking at, um, oh this is part 3 actually, in the IK Booster series. So if you haven't watched the other parts, please do. In this one we're looking at rigging our character or preparing our, car our character for animation. So let me load uh, our character in here so that we can uh, see how we set that up. Okay, so this is our character right here. So to we got if we go to the setup and add our convert our skeletons to bones, then we have bones. And then if I control B, IKB menu and I apply IK booster. So control B and then right click on the center of gravity and apply IK booster. All right, so IK booster is applied. In case your controller size is too big. For your bones if you see those round things on your bones just go to options here down here on the ikb menu and make sure controller size is at zero okay so to set up this uh, once we've added ik ik like this ik booster then our character is pretty much ready for animation but we need to set some limits for our ik so let's go to the shoulder right click and say ik stop IK stop on the neck as well IK stop and then on the hip IK stop IK stop so that's good because now we can uh, let's go to frame 5 we can actually click and drag some of these things without affecting the whole body and the head as well and the feet as well but when we move the whole character moves together we want the character to kneel down so we right click and say fix and on top they are fix uh, we have two bones in sequence here that we are fixing to make sure that the feet stay put on the ground so there are two two bones there in sequence so you see the solid circle here showing that these bones are actually fixed uh, in place so now when we move like that it goes uh, in that fashion which is uh, pretty cool but sometimes we may need to move our entire rig so what we do is we go to items add a no object and let me call this no uh, the master so I'll call this master or I'll put the name of the character here in master so that in case there are many of these they don't conflict when you load scenes from other places so let me add also let me let me do 0.5 scale add a ring okay so something like that so that is the master for the whole rig so we're going to have the body of this character parented down there so i'm going to use matt Groner's tools uh, store select assignment tools here so i'm going to click on the uh, oh you may not actually have this tool but if you don't let me use the motion option so let's go to the no object the master or let's go to the body itself the body of the character and hit m for motion options and let's go to parent item and select what we want to parent it to so let's go down and parent master so master becomes the parent okay and so let's go to our no and create a new no and this time this one will name i underscore target okay we can put a name of the character here to avoid conflicts with other scenes this one i'll put at point two and then i'll get a pyramid shape for no particular reason so at frame zero if i move the this is going to be the eye target so wherever i move this thing that's where the character will look so what i do is i go to the uh, bone here that's in the eye so now the way this uh, bone is set up is that it's halfway through the uh, halfway through the the eye so that wherever this bone is pointing that's where the eye will look okay so let me select that bone hit motion options and then go to go uh, not go actually it should be the target oh target item is right there so we select uh, the pyramid the eye target and then you see a line going to the target there so let's do the same to the other bone target eye target 
So now what happens is if I select this item, let me remove that central thing and let me remove the bone x-ray as well. So if I move it around, you see the character uh, looks wherever that is. This is important because if you're animating your character and you're moving them around like this, they will maintain eye contact with whoever they are talking to. All right, so we need to parent this also to the master. So that should have a parent item, which is the master. Oh, it's at the top now, master. That way, if we move the master, we move everything. Okay, so now that we have that, our rig is completely done. So now we can begin our animation, so to frame five, we can begin control B. Always remember to press control B if you can't see the IK booster numbers like down there. That's when you go to IK booster mode and out of it. You can uh, remove the bone x-ray. If you don't like seeing bones, you still be able to do your animation quite okay. All right, so that's uh, the basic idea of uh, rigging your character for movement. Now, if you uh, really want, if you really want to get in depth, you can go to the fingers as well. Let me center this one. Right on the edge of the fingers there, you can right click and say IK stop as well, so that you can click and drag the fingers. Oh, as you can see, the weight maps are not very good on these fingers. So I can go to this one as well. So uh, if when selecting bones, this is a bit difficult, you can right click and go to controller edits and click and drag these controls around then edit end so that uh, there's more room to select each bone or if you don't like this you can simply move your arrow keys your up and down arrow keys until you get to the bone that you want uh, yeah like this one and then you can right click and add ik stop so that way uh, this IK also works very well for that finger there. Okay, so you can put IK stop on all the fingers and everywhere that really you want the IK to stop. And that's about it. That's how I rig my characters and this is enough to make them animate uh, into any pose that I want. And also don't forget that uh, these IK instead of IK stop, there's also fix when you're trying to pose your character in a particular position and you can't uh, seem to get there, you can simply fix one area and then move it in another. That way it helps to, uh, for example, even down here, as you can see, the feet are fixed on the ground. But sometimes if you want the character to actually jump, you can unfix those. Or what you can simply do is hold control while you drag the character around. Oh, actually, that isn't working very well. It only works for the child bones. The fixing of the children will be removed if you click and drag. So let me just remove these and click and drag like that. So once the fixing is removed, you can move your character to any location like that. But I don't recommend doing that. When animating, I would rather, if for example it's a jump, I would do the jump right here and bring the character back. So I make sure that every motion that I make is uh, brings the character back to the center point. That way, in case I'm going to be loading motions to this character, the character will always be in the same place. So when I want to actually move the character, I actually move the master. Uh, down here, let me click on objects. Uh, sometimes it's a hassle getting back to this uh, normal mode. So I move the the whole master no to move the character to uh, from place to place instead of using the character object itself. All right, so I hope that helps uh, you figure out how to animate your character and rig. I will see you in another video.